Sup, sup, sup. My name is Reed for the Yu Gi Oh! Council, and this card will get a name change when it comes to the TCG. This is Air Force. It's basically Mirror Force, but instead of destroying, it bounces. And I'm going to be talking about why this card is so good. So let me t just quickly jump into five giant uses for this card. I know I didn't do that for Judgment of Light Sworn because I honestly didn't really like Judgment of Light Sworn, just being fair. All right, number one, it gets over Stardust and sort of Spark Dragon. And number two, it gets over Winda. Number three, it gets over things like Battle uh, Lead Yoke, which I know people are going to say, hey, it's just a tier two deck, but you know what makes it a little bit easier to deal with and makes everyone a little bit happier. It can help against OTKs. It's another form of Mirror Force, except that it bounces. Now, some people will say it's a double edged sword because you're bouncing to your opponent's hand. But I like to take a standpoint here and say, hey, Guess what's being mained at three in a good chunk of decks? Mind Crush. So, what I like to just say is this. Okay, you can have your monster back. Oh, that reminds me of one thing I'm just going to quickly jobble down for myself to say in this video. But, okay, you can have your monster back, right? You can have your monster back. When you have your monster back, I'm just going to Mind Crush it from your hand. And I've been talking about Mind Crush quite a bit on this channel because just the sheer fact it's being played so freaking much one of the biggest uses for air force is not just battling boxers okay it's a tier two deck whatever i get it. it's tier two it, it whatever it works against heroes get that dark law off the board i know so many matchups that are fucked by freaking dark law you can get off the freaking Fire Kings. You don't want them being destroyed. And D Prison isn't the greatest option right now. And this honestly is going to be in the set. So we'll have it in August. And it's amazing to have. I mean, it's just its so freaking good. Now, some of you are probably going, but Ryu, against certain decks, they're going to benefit off of it. Okay, that's fine enough. Now, if we look at the game state right now, I see a lot of exceeds, I see some pendulums, I see some fusions, I see some synchros. I can name two of those things that my opponent doesn't want back in their hand because as long as it doesn't go back in the hand, uh, if it's an exceed or if it's a synchro, which it shouldn't because it should be going back to the extra deck, which should be the ruling that applies here just for the one person who probably acts. <laughs> no disrespect, it's, it's, a valid, it's a valid question. Everything's a valid question as long as you ax it. That's pretty much what I have to say. Now, against those kinds of things, it's going to fuck over your opponent. And you're probably going, but Ryu, that's not good enough yet. Hey, remember that deck called Ying Zings everyone wants to play and everything, you know, everyone wants to play meta and eventually, sooner or later, it's probably going to pop up and creep up there and just try to take over? Remember how they work on destruction effects and Ring of Destruction, Torrental Tribute, Double Mirror Force, Dark Hole, Raigeki, all kind of help it? This does not help it. This tells it go f yourself and go bounce up. Now that's not a disrespect to my Ying Zing players who are watching this video. I love you guys. It's just in all honesty, this card makes so many matchups just hilarious in sense. It's another good trap card. We haven't had a good trap card like this in a long while. Some scalding was a pretty good trap card. This is a really good trap card. And we shouldn't be saying, hey, it's a double-edged sword, it's not gonna work out all the time. You gotta look for the uses. You gotta see what's out there and say, how can I utilize this today? And in all honesty, you can utilize this shit against heroes. And I know so many of you just despise heroes, and I respect it. Hell, there's decks I, res I freaking despise. I, I, you know, everyone has that one deck they hate. But you could play it against freaking heroes and return the fusion. No more of that crap. Say, so get the hell out of here. Go back to the extra deck. I ain't got to worry about you. Or if I send back your monster, I can mind crush it. And you know what deck it, this is great in? In all honesty, it's anti-meta. Anti-freaking meta. And some of you are going, huh? <laughs> Fossil Dyna. Is pretty much the Vanity's Emptiness we have right now. It's a walking Vanity's Emptiness. It's little. It pretty much gets run over. This is another trap card we could put in anti-meta to stop shit. Things we don't want going back? Okay, they're going back. Get the hell off my field. Because it returns all the attack position monsters your opponent controls. This is a great card. 
Now, it's not great against every single deck, but that could be said about everything. Hell, Ring of Destruction is not great against Jadol Winda, but we still play Ring of Destruction in nearly every single deck. MST is not that great against Necrots, but you're still going to play it for decks like Shadol's, who are not playing the Star Seraph engine, but are playing the more traditional engine. Hell, you're going to play MST to get rid of that Lion Prison Mirror or that Shadow Prison Mirror, so my point still stands. It's all about finding where the card fits, and if you can fit it inside your deck, where it will be useful to you. Now, some of you are probably going, but Ryu, it bounces to the monster, they get something to turn after. But that gives you time to put in damage, to set up for OTKs. I don't get how people don't see this. This card's really good. We haven't had a trap card like this in a long time. I'm super happy about this. Thank you, Konami. This was not Radiant Mirror Force number two. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Radiant Mirror Force is, we'll just throw it in the trash. It's pretty much, it, it's sitting next to Dark Mirror Force. Those are two Mirror Force spinoffs from the original Mirror Force that could never add up to Mirror Force. The only replacement that originally, in my mind, would add up to a, a new Mirror Force would be Dimensional Mirror Force, which would be banish out all your opponent's monsters, basically Black Sonic. But Air Force balances them. I'm okay with that. Because of the uses. Because of the Mind Crush. Because of locking your opponent out and winning games. Let me know what you guys think about Air Force down below, and I am going to basically just leave it at that. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, by the way, if you have a problem with Fire Kings or anything like that, destruction-based decks, this is hilarious against them. So good. So good. Peace.